Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about a tutorial a lot of people have asked me. Let's talk about how to color hair with Copic markers. I could do a whole series on this where I could do another updated pencil, how to color with hair pencil tutorial. I might do that next week but how to color hair with Copic markers. This is a pencil sketch. I used a Prismacolor Call Erase to sketch this out. It's just a black pencil, but it's erasable. You want to make sure that you have a good liner. Now, some liners, when you use alcohol-based markers, they smear. Keep in mind anything that's branded Sharpie will smear. A good brand that is super inexpensive and great for all your penmanship needs that will mix with any kind of alcohol-based markers. I've used these Micron pens on everything and they will not smear with any of your alcohol-based markers. I'm gonna go ahead and line Ariel. What I have here are a bunch of different reds or pinks and browns that could easily mix together. Now, I would like to start with maybe these two to highlight. I always pick a bottom base color for when it comes to hair. I'm gonna start with my R21 and I'm gonna get where the highlights are in her hair. So let's say that her highlights are here. So I'm gonna go around and get where all the highlights are. So where the sun is hitting and maybe up around her roots as well and around the edges. With shading, I'm a topical person, so it's topical light. So it's hitting her directly down on her. So I'm gonna look at this R32 and see what it looks like. So you see it's a little bit darker. Now I could possibly use either R32. I think I'll use my R32 to blend stuff in. So now I'm gonna jump up a little bit more and I'm gonna grab my R37. My R37, my overall color. These are where my highlights are, but this will be my base almost. That's that true red. Another thing I like to do is I like when I'm making hair strands, I go into the highlights. I like to use the paintbrush nibs because it gives me a chance to give a more finer touch to the hair. So I'm going to go around and bring this up and you see it just, that's how I always make the hair when it comes to my Copic marker sketches. And you see I'm not all the way bringing it in towards the middle just because I think I might add more highlights in the middle. I always try to get the roots in the main color of whatever that color is. Just because with roots they're usually darker or lighter. So you see, I'm not always going in and I'm not going like this. I just ruin that. <laughs> but I'm going in with strokes. I always keep this stroke pattern going on. Now what I'm going to do is go back with my RV21 and fill in the highlighted parts once again. I'm just going to go over a little bit. So I'm going to go over this part. Now to get into the shadow areas, I have two different browns. I have an E09 and E29. So one is sienna brown and then one is burnt umber. So this is for the super dark areas and this is for just to give a little bit of shading going on. What I would do is I go where I would imagine where the shadows are going to be. So they're going to be up in here and you see it makes that, that R37 darker. So you see how it's already getting dark but it, and it complements the color. So I keep in mind of the complementary colors. So browns complement reds. See how it already made it dark and I'm gonna jump in here, make this part darker. 
Now after taking that sienna brown and going over those spots, I'm going to grab my Carmen Red once again. This is my R37, so I'm going to go over those spots I just did. Now I'm going to take my E29, the Burnt Umber, and get at the really darker spot. So that would be like, for example, right under here and right where it's all clumpy. And then under here, underneath her bangs. And I'm actually going to take E37 once again and go over those spots to blend it in. The last thing that I like to do is I like to take my Jelly Roll gel pen and to add more highlights on top of the pink parts. So I would just go around and maybe jump into the red just a little bit. So you see it just highlights it a little bit more. And you see I'll go and jump into the pink. There you go. There is how I would color hair using Copic markers. Now this could be approached with the same technique can be approached with any type of alcohol based marker. Markers that just blend together. So you don't, you want to avoid water based markers such as Crayola or Rose Art markers because those are water based markers. This is a tutorial only for alcohol based markers. So yeah, I hope you guys found this useful and that you'll give it a try or apply it to your own way on how to color hair when it comes to Copic markers. Please leave in the comments down below if you'd be interested in me teaching a tutorial on how to color hair using colored pencils or simply just ink. Please leave in the comments down below. I'd love to hear and hopefully we can do that next Saturday. I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!